excellent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Poro's well in down wrath. Arriba! Viva el Acer Acerios. Anyway, welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. In the last part, I got a great deal of, uh, well, I got some police bribes that now I can just call upon the cough and just say, hey, dog, ease it up. So, anyway. Whoa. So, anyway. Now. I'm taking missions back from El Burro and his, uh, questionable choice in describing his, uh, well, anything of his, really. Like, it's somehow everything has to relate back to a giant wang. So, anyway. Now, let's see what this throbbing weapon is. Okay. Oh, fuck! It's a sniper rifle. Cause, cause I, shit. I think this is, uh, I think this is done like a rampage we uh, uh, mission, where you just have to kill a shitload of triads. Man, the glitches in Vice City, by the way, with that involve like rampage weapons that have. Oh shit! No, there's a flamethrower. Yeah, it's a rampage mission, basically. So I have to kill 20 guys in these blue suits. Wow, what the fuck? Those triads on that corner just disappeared. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky. I gotta do everything uh, one at a time. I swear, if I turn around is... Yeah! Holy crap! I knew that tr that traffic only spawned once you turned around, but I didn't realize that pedestrians did as well. I'm being very careful not to set too many fires because I don't want to take fire damage myself. Because I cannot remember if you can if you can actually uh, turn off or like whoa what the hey. I, I don't remember, like, how you can actually, um, like, heal from fire damage. Because I remember from Vice City that you just fucking die slowly of fire damage. And it will get you unless you completed the fire missions there. And actually, the fire missions there are really... You get a sweet reward in Vice City. Which is basically you don't take fire damage at all. Which is amazing. Yeah, it's... Flamethrowers are as a weapon, even though they're kind of known as just a brutally vicious weapon. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wow. Okay, yeah, that's what I've been trying to avoid. All right, I finished the mission. So yeah, effectively a rampage mission in disguise of a regular mission. So anyway, let's back to El Burro for what I believe is actually his final mission. A thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open. And now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. He looks so bored. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is always one weird thing about Vice, about uh, in general the Grand Theft Auto games is they they have you doing do what amount to just variations on very typical game uh uh what's it called uh, tropes, but they do it with really weird context. In this case, being 
uh, collect, like, basically checkpoint races uh, as a collectathon of porn. I can't say I've ever done that in a game until GTA 3. And I think they do it again later on in sort of a different form in Vice City. Although I believe in that one you're in an airplane. Wow. Yeah, not much to say here as it's just follow the trail of porn. I'm surprised this doesn't make the news. It's just like all of a sudden Liberty City has been uh, has been caked in a layer of pornographic material starring this one person. It would have been actually it would be actually great publicity. I'd imagine he'd like it. But I may maybe that's the reason he's so mad is that there, this has happened, so he's losing uh, profits, but he's also not getting anything for it. God damn it, this sound is not gonna go away, because, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, man. I gotta do sway in motions. This is not what this car is intended for. Okay. Fuck. Where? Oh, wow. So that's kind of a blind turn there. This fucking noise is not going to stop, is it? What kind of route is this to take? Was he just trying to shake the guy off? Alright. Hopefully I can, I can gain some time here. Because I can just go straight. No! Well, there goes all the time I gained. Is he hiding out in the docks? Oh, no, he's not. He's trying to sort of us. God damn it! Fuck! Yeah, this is the, the annoying thing about missions like this, uh, where you have to collect things on the streets. It, there's no way of being able to prepare yourself for traffic. Because cars can just go over the collectibles and not. there's nothing you can do about that. So it has to be a, uh, a combination of managing your driving skills while also being able to account for different traffic situations. And that could be a pain in the ass. God damn it! Fucking Jesus Christ, these trucks! I can't actually tell if I... No, I didn't pick it up! Motherfucker! God damn it. God damn the fucking traffic here! And I can't do the shit where you look backwards either because I don't- FUCK! I can't fucking look- God damn- Oh, come on! Son of a bitch, I can't move now! FUCK! Uh, I can't do the trick where you look backwards to stop traffic from spawning because I have to be able to see where I go- where I'm going. It's not even like a raceway checkpoint because they don't even mark it on your radar. You have to be able to be looking at it. Gah! Finally! God damn. Oh shit. Oh! Right. Yeah, as I said, that that's where I'm supposed to be taking other vehicles, but they're not interested in this model or the porn that it's, that's in it. Well, they might be more interested in that, but I'm not sure if they're aware of it. Alright. But the fact that I didn't even have to check the other car is a sign that apparently it wasn't just some of the porn that got out onto the city streets uh, where the non-existent children of Liberty City could have spotted it. Uh, no, apparently it was all of it. So an entire fan full of pornographic magazines. Yeah, all of them. Jeez, why are there triads here? Anyway, going to this parking lot. Dropped off the merchandise. Triple X Max. My god. The only people who buy magazines are clones! By the way, the Daily Spurt is a fantastic name for this. Quit looking at me, you clones! You disgusting scientific creations! Well, anyway, 
Now that we're done with El Burro's mission and helped his uh, business ca uh, career to continue, uh, let's uh, move on. And actually, now it's time to take missions from our newest client, Salvatore. Okay, we made it back up to the mansion. Oh God, please tell me the music mixing isn't that bad in here. Hey, Maria. Oh, this is yeah, fine, actually. Dumbra does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversations, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Alright. I'm actually wondering the height difference here, because you don't actually... I don't think you actually see Maria and you standing up most of the time. Most of the time you have to drive her, I believe. But anyway, yeah, she wants some drugs. So... Let's go up to the waterfront. Yo, this goes out to the Shit! Crap. Goddamn copyright infringement. It's gonna catch up to me soon. I'm already getting content I need multiple times on the fucking Metal Gear Rising videos. Pretty much every boss battle got content ID, except I think Mistral. Which is pretty shitty, but whatever. So, anyway. I have to wonder whether it was a deliberate decision or probably just um, distance tracking by the models that no matter what, because of the way you, where because of the place I had to park and because of where Actually, no, if I turn my car around... Hmm, maybe I should do an experiment. Just uh, turn the car around if I fail this mission and see if if I do that, that Maria will actually go to the front passenger seat instead of the back limo seat. Oh, shit, okay, fuck. For some reason, I thought this was the warehouse, but it isn't. Shit, I'm confusing missions here. All right. So, yep, more escort quests. And the usual formula for these missions is you escort someone, things go bad, and then you have to escort them back. Although, like, Grand Theft Auto 3 probably has, like, or Grand Theft Auto games in general, don't have that, like, don't have, like, the usual problems with escort quests because, well, the thing is, most of the time the escorts just take the same car, so, so there's literally no hamperance. Yeah, they're basically no hamperance, but... God damn, people are smoking a lot in there. Um, yeah, compared to other games where... You know, it's like, oh, I have to walk them, I have to do anything. No, they're just in the car. It's just that if they get out of the car, they're more prone to gun to getting hit by gunfire. Four, five, all units. This is narcotics way to Atlantic City. Oh man, I'm so tempted to get out of the, the limo and just take that car. Thankfully in the spot where you have to be completely still, uh, they don't like put wanted stars until about now. Yeah, I was really tempted to take that SWAT car because the SWAT car is actually another car I need. And just let Maria die. Shit. Now, even though Salvatore Leone uh, t said he wanted this car, his car back in one piece, uh, doesn't mean that it has to be perfect condition. And of course, this is a handicap of these missions: is like putting you in a really shitty car. The stretch 
uh, an actual stretch limo is obvious is to an extent a very luxurious experience because it's just like their sense of exclusivity all this room but it's an actual car pretty shit what the fuck the box it trapped me it wants revenge for all my its brothers that i killed in dark souls oh shit god damn fucking hell what happened there god damn don't fuck with cardboard jesus that guy why did he even hit me he didn't want to slow down holy fuck oh my god Anyway, now I've lost my wanted level through just not doing anything, in spite of the fact that the police were chasing me. So yeah, that was a hectic mission, but I am finished. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while, and you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. So I better go. I'll see you around, I hope. Fun fact, when I first played this game, I actually thought Maria was not Salvatore Leone's, uh... Or I thought, uh, Maria was Salvatore Leone's, uh, daughter. It's actually his wife, apparently. Anyway, what I'm about to do is one of the more long quests to do in the entire game, and that is Unique Jumps. This is... One of the more different versions of a collectathon I've ever seen, which is that you just have to ex, but it's an execution of an action, a very specific action. The only thing I can compare it to is attempting to do all the gaps in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which, granted, is uh, nowhere near as spectacular, but it, it, you get the concept. So anyway, I probably don't have enough speed, but let's see if I can get this one. Oh shit! I'm gonna run into the building, aren't I? Oh sh- I did it. Holy fuck. So yeah, that's one unique jump. And of course, I'm gonna have to fast forward through most of these. Because either way, the game goes into slow-mo. So it'll, it'll all even out. Oh shit! Oh, okay! We have orders for various vehicles. Check our notice board for uh, requirements. Clean. Alright, that's all the unique stunts done in Portland. There are multiple unique stunts left, and I think I remember the most grueling stunts being in uh, the third island, but that's going to have to be it for this part of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. Join me next time when... Uh, do we go back to Tony or Salvatore, actually? I actually can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, we'll... Uh Forget that. Jesus Christ. Fucking aggressive drivers here. Jesus. <clears throat> uh, okay, it's actually... Uh, we go back to Tony. So, see you guys then.